guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog in this vlog i'll be showing you a few days in my life as a civil engineering intern so on the first day i had nothing much to do we just got our onboarding done as well as our medical examination we were then given a little bit of a tour around the office and then thereafter given our gear it was so so exciting and i was in awe the whole time i couldn't believe this was actually real when i got my helmet and everything with my name on it and yeah this is how my first day was i didn't really get to vlog much but you get the gist of it on my second day we were given a little tour around some of the company's suppliers such as the mechanics that do the repairs for any of the plants or tools that are used we were also taken around to stores that do supply some tools for hire such as heel tea as well as some plant hire stores on this day we had a really long road trip because we had to stop by a couple of sites in simple terms on this day we're given a little tour as well as an introduction on how the company runs where the tools and plants are hired from as well as a little bit of an introduction to some of the company's partners it was basically a day where we had to do a lot of traveling and we got to see so many beautiful scenes the road and the freeways and highways are honestly some of my favorite things when it comes to traveling i just find those so therapeutic and yeah we got to see some construction sites and some that had actually just started which was honestly so exciting and also so so intimidating to see how such a big structure could start up so small i also just want to point out how difficult it was to vlog hence i apologize for that it was really hard for me to vlog and pull up my phone here and there because people would look at me strange and wonder okay what are you doing also i could hardly communicate and like talk to you guys through this vlog so i will just be putting out these um scenes and these montages for you guys to kind of visually explain these to yourselves basically we had a bit of a tour to more construction sites and yeah we were given a tour this was just a day to just show us the ropes and how things are done and so on and so forth On the third day, I was officially taken to the site at which I was appointed to, which was so scary because I was so afraid of the amount of people I would meet. And being a female in construction is something that is very intimidating, especially because you're not really taken seriously and people don't really see you as fit to be in that environment and yeah but then i'm so grateful and beyond thankful that i was placed on this site because everybody was beyond friendly everybody was so nice and welcoming and so sweet so basically we were based on a warehouse site where a bunch of warehouses were being constructed well basically they were already done and what we had to do was just come on and do and see the finishings which honestly it's a lot more work than i ever thought i thought when a construction a project is done being built and everything then that's it but then the finishings take a lot of time
a bit of finishings and we're just checking out a few things. So yeah, this piece is so nice. Everything is done. The only thing left to do is just some cleaning. And it's crazy how picky the architects are because every time we would have a certain day to like hand in this place, they would complain about small unnecessary things like, um, for example, um, how the paint is just a little bit on the windowsills and small things like that. I know that's also important, but. It's little details and small stuff that nobody's even gonna look at. But looking good, I guess. I should have this one. Yeah. Hey guys, I hope you all are doing amazing. The sun is literally in my eyes, so I'm struggling. But I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So, um, the side that we're on is basically done. We're just doing a bit of finishings here and there. And that's kind of like the worst thing is because every time we have a certain date to hand in the clients would either come and say okay i don't like these small things here so can you change this and then they keep moving up the hand handing in date so that's fun it's been really hectic i've been here for about three weeks now this is my third week this is my third week on the site and it's been very interesting i'm not gonna lie so uh, my colleague and i we actually are in charge of the snags and that's basically like the small um things that we need to touch on like small how do i say i'll just probably insert a proper definition on screen but yeah it's been very interesting i actually ran away to come up here because there's nobody else here and it's very awkward to vlog on site because everybody's just like what are you doing but yeah i hope you guys are all doing amazing and thank you so much for joining me in this vlog and yeah Shows you like a bit of 
the snags and the small areas that need to be rectified. I'm basically doing a little bit of supervision with my colleague, like small things like this, and you know, like how the hinges are like missed. Um, you know, like this is a snag where you can see that the paint is kind of like on the metal, like here, for example. That finished and I'm so excited to see it like in the near future let me just show you guys okay this water here is just I think it's coming from the drain I'm not sure but look at that it looks so nice there's like little plants here and some here and here okay on camera they don't look as nice but then if you were here you, it looks like a little garden and it looks so nice like the way they are aligned maybe if i stand like this you'll be able to see it okay now you still can't see anything yeah yeah you can see a little bit it's like a bit aligned and it's so good you know it's crazy because a few um weeks ago weeks ago days ago this was literally not here like all of this was not here it was literally just dirt and now we're done hi so today we are on the man lift and i learned how to use a man lift it's actually very simple so this is kind of old but anywho in the movies they usually say do not press the red button but it's so funny that this is actually the on button so you just pick it up then the machine goes on and then to go up or down you basically just press this button and then you go up this way or if you want to go down you go this way or if you want to go forward you just like um what do you call this uh, what you call it's like a joystick yeah a joystick so yeah so I'm gonna throw the sandpaper piece so that you guys can see how high this is um, there's it here 